another vlogmas video it's vlogmas day 10 you're probably wondering why the first time you're seeing me it's dark outside um i've been up okay i woke up at 6 a.m and i was like i'm gonna bang this video out yesterday's vlogmas video and i'm upload it and i'm gonna start my day but it was hella early and i went to sleep at like probably like 12 31 a.m so I, I woke up at six and I edited the video for like three hours and then and then I fell asleep But your girl I literally like I couldn't I think I fell asleep sitting up like and I ended up falling asleep So I woke up and it was pretty it was like one o'clock in the afternoon No, it was a little bit earlier than that But then I still had to finish the video and then Yanni called me and we were on the phone talking and yeah, I didn't really do much. I mean, other than that. Oh, and then I posted on Instagram and I posted two times. I posted a photo, a collage photo, the carousel. And um, that dog outside is distracting me. <laughs> I posted a carousel of photos and then I posted my TikTok video. Um, and my phone has just been blowing up. Like I can't use it because the notifications are just coming in like crazy, so. Yeah, I've, I I haven't done much, but I do want to go to Target. I want to go to Target. I don't know, like, I'm feeling like I want to go to Target. I just took a shower. It's not that late. It's only, only like six. I want to go to Target. I don't really know why I want to go, but I do want to go. Is that bad? <laughs> Is that bad? Oh, uh -huh. um, <laughs> like, mmm. Hmm. Yesterday was fun though. Yesterday was Nikki day. So many barbs just in my notifications. I loved it. I love it. Let's see what Instagram is talking about. I have so many comments to respond to. I need to do that. I like to respond to them as soon as possible. Yeah, I typically don't post um, super late. I posted this at like four which is like seven on the East Coast. That's kind of late. I usually like to post by like 9 a.m. here, so it's like midday on the East Coast, but it's okay. It's still doing really well. Yeah, I'm about to respond to these comments. What's new? You guys, I just got back from Target and I ended up getting, oh, well, my skin looks really good. I did my, my skincare routine earlier. Skin is looking good, period. <laughs> yeah, I got pizza. Um, the last time I ordered from the pizza spot, they like messed up my order. They overcharged me for something, so they gave me a free coupon for like a free pizza for next time. And I was like, I don't feel like cooking tonight, honestly. I'm tired. I want some food though. So I got me a little pizza. And when I was at Target, let me show you what I got from Target real quick. Let me show you what I got from Target real quick, you know? Okay. So I got, 
a can opener and a potato peeler because I was like, y'all kept coming for my neck. <laughs> So I needed to get one. No, um, I was gonna order it off of Amazon, but I was in there and I think this was on sale. So I was like, I'll just get it from here because I didn't place the order for that. I ended up ordering it, so. Priorities, Jasmine, but I got it and that's all that freaking man. Dean, ooh, I got some caramel popcorn. I was like, this would be a cute little snack and it's Christmas themed. It's from the Wonder Shop, the like Christmas shop within target and then i got me some wine glasses the stemless joints this is 11 dollars for how many of them six six that's really good so i was like you guys know well if you were watching my weekly vlogs before i started vlogmas you know that i actually cracked all of my wine glasses so I didn't have any. I was like, I really want the stemless ones. Can't pass up $11 for some wine glasses. That's a really great price. So, and I get six, so I'm like really excited. And I was like, well, if I get wine glasses, then I should get wine too, right? <laughs> so I got a bottle of Riscato. This um, is my favorite red wine, and it's because it's a sweet red wine. I personally, like, I'll drink, um, I'll drink a drier wine that's, you know, a bit more of a drier taste, a bitter taste is not so sweet. But if I had to choose, I'm always gonna choose a sweet wine. Like I'm always gonna go for the sweet wine, whatever it is. So like whenever I go out to eat, I always ask the waiter or the waitress, I'm like, which one's sweet? And if they're like, oh, they're not really that sweet. They're like a semi-sweet, then I'll go with a semi-sweet. Or if there's like no sweet wine, cause sometimes it's just like Sauvignon Blanc and like Pinot Grigio or Pinot Noir, and those are all very dry wines, and they don't really typically have like a sweet taste. But this one I've had before, um, this was $10. It's great, it tastes delicious, and it's gonna go great with my pizza. I got a margarita, a margarita pizza. So yeah, that's all the stuff I got from Target. So I was thinking, since I got like dinner, I got a wine and I got dessert popcorn then I should do like a little mukbang because I'm like I'm about to eat so might as well eat with you guys so I need you to stop what you're doing right now if you're not if you didn't if you haven't eaten already or you don't know what you're gonna eat I need you to pause the video and I need you to go find something to eat bring your meal so we can eat together it'll be like a little date like a little FaceTime date. Oh my gosh. But like we're not on FaceTime. But it's going to be like. It's going to feel like that. It's going to be very cute. So pause this video right here. Go get your food. Go get your glass of wine. If you can't drink. Dr go get your juice. Go get your water. Your sparkling water. Whatever you want to drink. Come back. And play the video. And we about to have a, a mukbang. Ready? In three. Two. One. Ah. We in this. There's a stupid little gnat in here and I'm gonna fucking kill it. I'm gonna kill that. I'm gonna kill that little ass gnat. I'm going to kill it. Let me wash my hands. I got my wine on this cutting board and then I'm gonna put my poster because I'm not trying to spill. If I spill this wine on anything, I'm going to cry. I will legit cry i need my led lights on the fact that it hooks up to my phone i wish i need like a lamp i've been saying that though let me do my thumbnail i don't look like i look kind of bummy though i was gonna put my wig on just for this month bomb should i do that should i go put my wig on i'm gonna go put my wig on <laughs> not me coming back a completely new person <laughs> <laughs> no, don't judge me, you guys. But, like, I told you how important it is to look presentable. You know what I'm really realizing? You know what I really realized when it took me three minutes to do this? Like, legit, this took me, like, three minutes and 30 seconds to do. Like, it was not that difficult. I'm so lazy. Like, I just went to Target. And when I was in Target, I saw this cute guy. And I looked the way that I looked. Like, 
I just look mad bummy. I'm so lazy, like I couldn't take three and a half minutes before I left earlier to do my hair or like just look a little bit more presentable, you know? Cause he was looking at me like, and I was just like, every time I step out when I look cute, nobody wanna be outside. What's that about? It's like, y'all know when I look ugly, you wanna be outside. That's when you wanna be outside. That's when you, that shit is so, that shit is so annoying. Okay, let me get this thumbnail. Oh, and isn't it so cute? I have a, a headband from Beauty Forever that matches my freaking shirt. It's giving matchy matchy. I thought I killed, bruh, I'm gonna fight. I want my toes to be in it. Like my toes just look so cute. Like I just want my toes. Like not my foot, but just my, my toenails. Like, <laughs> okay. Bruh, ooh, I wanna kill that. That, it's like it's taunting me because I just trapped it in the bathroom. So I don't understand how it got out here. The gnat, like, it's really taunting me. It is so irritating. Ooh, this is gonna be such a cute little mukbang. Okay, I got my wine. Mukbang. I wanna find out where that comes from. Like, who started? The mukbang trend. I'm assuming it was. I'm, I'm assuming it's an. I know it's an Asian thing. Like it's an Asian word. So it had to have been. Well, this is kind of cold. Oh, I should have brought a plate. I'm gonna eat out this box. It's only me, right? Mm, one thing you guys are gonna realize. Mm, one thing you guys are gonna realize after watching this is that Jasmine likes to eat. Okay, period. I'm gonna eat this whole pie. Like, I don't care. We're in quarantine. Mmm. I should care though, because my birthday's in two months. And I can't be looking like, I just can't. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. You better land somewhere so I can murder you. <laughs> and don't land on my food. That, the gnat wants to fight. Like, he really wants to fight. Mmm. 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 This pizza, on a scale of 1 to 10, is like a solid 6. Honestly, solid 5. It's not bad, but in comparison to New York pizza, it simply does not compare. It's like apples to oranges. This is nothing, nothing of the sort. It's not even on the level. Like, dollar pizza from the dollar, the dollar pizza in New York is, is better than this. But just because they just, New York just is known for pizza, you guys know. You already know. It's like I'm so spoiled. I really came from a place that had so many good eats. I was having this conversation with China the other day. My face I'm that is so good. Um, it's gonna be hard because I was raised to not pop with food in my mouth. Like, but I'm also doing a mukbang and I know I'm recording. It's like I want to speak. I'm gonna have to cut out all the parts of me chewing. I'm sorry. That's the last time I'm gonna say anything with food in my mouth. <laughs> um. Anyway, I was having this conversation with Chinese on the phone about how. I was like, bro, the food out here is just not it. Like, I know that's something that everyone says. Um, everyone that I like have followed on social media that like lives somewhere else and then moved to LA like always like said that. But I was just like, uh, like people can be really picky. Like I'm someone who I can eat anything of this. Like I can eat anything. Like I'll try anything once. If I've never tried it, I would try it. And determine whether or not I like it or not and I'll if I like it I'll have it again and if I don't then I won't but like I eat pretty much everything of like food from all over from coming from New York it's like there's so many like different food options and just so many different types of food like the possibilities are really endless and it's not even like you have like one really good Jamaican spot and one really good Indian spot and one really, you have like several, like, like multiple options for like really good Caribbean food, like Jamaican food, really good West Indian food, really good Asian food, like really good Japanese, really good Thai, really good, like there's in each borough, like not even just like sprinkled around, in each borough, like, there's so many food options. There's so many different types of food, like Middle Eastern, like 
Greek, Italian, Southern, like all of it, literally all of it. Like anything you could think of, there's that kind of food is in New York and it's like made by people that come from that place and it's fire and it's authentic and it's just good. Okay, right? Then you come to LA and it's like the general, I feel like the general like food that you find like pretty much everywhere in restaurants is like modern American fare, which is like burgers and salads and like American fare food, like french fries and, and stuff like that. But it's like simple. I don't know if that makes sense. And then the other two types of food would be Mexican food because like Mexico is right on the border. So like Hispanic, food, like tacos, taco trucks, things like that. My camera's gonna die. <laughs> um, and Asian food. Like Korea town is really close. So I might Uber Eats just a lot of Asian food and stuff. The Mexican food is not bad. I haven't had any bad Mexican food. And I feel like because we're so close to Mexico in LA, like it's authentic. So. It's really good. I have no issue with that. Um, I only had sushi one time and it was okay. It was kind of expensive. That's another thing. Food is kind of expensive. Like just everything in general, you know, is a little bit more. Like in New York, I can get dollar pizza. Like I can get a slice of pizza for a dollar. I can get two slices and a can soda for two seventy five. Like I can't get that here. I can't. There's no such thing as dollar pizza here. <laughs> I don't think there's such thing as dollar anything here or if i if i'm wrong please correct me because you know i'm so new to la so i've only been here like what i moved august 1st so september october november december so this is my fourth month i'm into my fourth month of being here the food is just it's not it like you order indian on uber eats and it's like very mediocre Indian food like they didn't really season it the right way or it's not really made the way that it's traditionally made like that Jamaican food that I had that you guys remember I was like nah this has to be made by white people because there's no way a Jamaican person would not have seasoned their rice and peas would not have seasoned their cabbage would not have seasoned like the chicken was okay, it just wasn't correct though. Like that was not jerk chicken at all. Like I don't know what that was, but it was not jerk chicken. <laughs> oh, and the mac and cheese! A black person, a Jamaican person, never, ever, 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 ever would have made macaroni and cheese jerk mac at that and it be wet. Like Velveeta, like Kraft mac and cheese wet. I was like, bruh. No, <laughs> y'all already lost me. To my to my Caribbean peoples that want to make money, y'all should really come out here and open up some more like authentic, genuine Jamaican food spots. Cause like the fact that there's only one, I don't know. Yeah, so I basically just came to the idea that I'm gonna have to cook all my food, like because every time I order food, I just I'm disappointed. I'm not like I'm expecting better, and it's not what it is it's like i'm shitting on la right now i'm really not though i still really like it i still really like the weather um i still really like the mood that i've been in since i've been here like i i feel like i've been happier um i definitely struggle with seasonal depression that's something that i've always struggled with like yeah so seasonal depression is definitely a thing new york gets cold from like I would say like halfway into October, the temperature starts to drop and it gets cold. And from that time, like mid-October all the way until like damn near the end of March, like early April is cold, like considered winter, okay? Because we have like, we'll get like 30 degree weather in March, like the end of March. So it'd be cold. And on top of it being cold, it's gloomy, it's gray. You know, it's a very fast paced city. So I feel like it's just like the hustle and bustle, like the days kind of just all feel like the same, but like a blur. And I don't know, like aside from having family there nothing really like made me happy about experiencing like cold weather or like 
and I wouldn't say my family made me feel happy about experience, but like nothing really like there was no positives. My my birthday is always in the dead of winter. My birthday is February 5th, so the first week of February, like the peak of winter is like January, February in New York. So there's been so many different times like on my birthday where there was like a snowstorm, like a blizzard, a blizzard the day before, like or like consistent like just snowfall and freezing temperature and wet slush and sleet and just like me having to take public transportation like the train or the bus like it just nothing it was never enjoyable i was never able to pop out the way i wanted to for my birthday like wear a really cute outfit like i would have to wear snow boots freaking uh, a parka <laughs> or I'd have to wear a big puffy jacket. I wore layers of clothes like because I was just like not with the cold. Like I literally hate the cold. Like I hate it. China actually said this to me yesterday when we were on FaceTime. She was like, yo, you really said, cause she's, ex she's ex starting to, well, she's been experiencing that cold weather, but like, I guess yesterday was really cold. She was like, you really said last year was going to be your last winter or last you said last winter was gonna be your last winter in new york and you meant that and i was like nah like i literally had to say it out loud like i had to say it and speak it into existence because and tell other people about it and just say it so that i could like start to believe it and i could be like yeah i already said that i already claimed it for myself i need to make it happen now that's like my approach with everything that i want in life everything that i have like i've claimed it for myself i've spoken it into existence i've i've manifested okay like this is where i want to be like it doesn't always come true on time but it comes true like it always comes to fruition and i was just i i remember telling everybody i was just like yeah i'm not doing this again like i'm not doing this winter like, I'm not doing winter next year. Like, I'm going to be in L.A. before the end of um, 2020 so that I don't have to experience, like, the worst part of winter in New York. And look at, look at God. It was a calm 77 degrees today. When the sun goes down, it drops to, like, 60 and 50 sometimes. Like, right now, it's, like, 60 degrees outside. But that's that's a breeze oh this gonna be a breeze like that's a breeze compared to whatever the fuck they deal with in new york right now and what they're going to experience i don't even want to like so i can definitely say like i know it seems like uh kind of superficial to be like oh the weather's really nice but like when you dealt with seasonal depression and that shit takes a toll on you as a person and how you function and your mental health every single day like you would be happy to be out of that too you know not me slurping the wine oh my gosh girl calm down it's not going nowhere oh my god that was embarrassing um um shall anyway so so yeah with me um moving when i did i guess it was it wasn't like when i applied when i applied for this apartment i have great credit right i had the income to back it up and i still felt like i was not gonna get approved because it was like it's such a nice building and i'm young and i'm moving by myself and i'm moving out of, from out of state and also like even though i do have good income my income fluctuates because it's youtube so it's not like always the same amount of money every single month you know it goes up and down it fluctuates i like i had it almost certain when I, even when i clicked apply and i submitted my application and i paid that application fee i still had it like in the back of my mind like i was like i'm not gonna get this but like i'm gonna apply but i'm not gonna get it and then literally five days after I applied, they were like, hi, we're just calling to let you know that you were accepted for the apartment and your move-in is 15 days from today. And I was like, huh? I was like, what? Um, I, w I was just applying to see if I was gonna get accepted. I'm not ready to move here today. Like, I was not ready. Like, yeah. And I was like, I'm moving to a new city. Like, 
New City, who this? Like, do I know you? Mm, I don't actually. Sorry. Like, <laughs> sorry. You know from? No. Yeah, I've never been there. I've lived in LA my entire life. That's crazy. No. <laughs> Can you imagine? I would never. I would never. I would never. New York always has my heart. Okay. Book until I die. <laughs> Book until the death of me. <laughs> It's really the alcohol for me. The alcohol is talking, okay? She's doing her thing. <laughs> every night I put... <laughs> every night on my story... Well, not every night, but most nights on my story, I post, like, what kind of wine I'm drinking. And I'd be like, tonight's a vibe. You know, all aesthetically or whatever. And people probably like, dang, like, this bitch is a whole alcoholic. Why does she drink wine every single day? Like... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's me being tipsy off of this. Girl, it's not gonna stop me from drinking though. Uh, I wonder if like my followers are annoyed with me yet. Like, are you guys annoyed with me? I've been posting every single day. Not necessarily on my like on my um feed, my actual page, but on my Insta story. I gotta keep up because I'm posting on YouTube. So it's like every time I post on YouTube, I have to like be active on my other socials so I can let people know that I posted. You gotta be stupid, oh. You gotta be stupid, oh. You gotta be stupid, oh. It's me not spilling anything for me. I love that. I don't wanna drink myself though. Knock on paper, on wood. I don't even know that's wood. That's most definitely wood. That's another thing about me. <laughs> it's like a get to know me. <laughs> I did say this was our date, didn't I? I'm superstitious. I believe in stuff like that. I don't know. You could think that's silly or or childish. I don't think it's childish, but like I'm a superstitious person and it's because I'm a very spiritual person. So I kind of feel like they're connected they're not the same thing they're mutually exclusive but then they're also like kind of connected too i'm very like in tune with my spirituality and my aura and other people's auras and the kind of energy that i'm attracted to and the kind of energy that i like to be around and the kind of energy i don't like to be around and i'm very very good at like meeting someone and having a conversation with them and determining from that conversation like if this is someone that I can continue to get to know and like befriend or whatever or somebody that I don't want to interact with anymore. I'm very good at that. I'm a very good judge of character and it's because I'm so observant. I find myself in situations where I'm meeting somebody new, I'm meeting new people and I know I'm like okay I'm not going to click with that person let me just like give it the benefit of the doubt or this is somebody I'm going to end up being around or whatever because they're friends with someone that I'm friends with and then it's like I've always proven right like whatever my intuition is and the conclusion that I come to on how I feel about that person like it's always proven right like later on like later on down the line it's like and it doesn't even have to be like months later it could be like days later it could be hours later like I'm always proven to be right as to why I didn't click with that person. And it's because I know who I am. Like, I know who I like, what I like, and who I like, and what I like to see in a person, and who I can, like, get along with. Like, I know, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna choose to, like, still be around someone that I know I'm not gonna get along with. That kind of got off topic because I was talking about superstitions, but. Yeah, I'm superstitious, so I be knocking on wood, and I don't like to step on the cracks because they'll break my mom's back. My mom actually almost had her back broken. Like, she was in an accident, a car accident. She, was, she wasn't even in a car. She was a person, and a car hit her from behind. So, like, I don't even, I don't even need to play about none of that. Mm, you gotta be careful. I feel like that also has to do with, like, manifesting and speaking things into existence like you don't want to speak bad upon yourself like i feel like people who are always speaking negatively on themselves are always experiencing like bad luck bad karma like bad things happen to them like little things it doesn't even have to be like something super traumatic or like horrifying like it could simply be just like them losing their wallet but i just really just thought of that or like them losing their cell phone like or 
uh, like granted things like bad things happen to everybody like you know there's misfortune for everyone but I feel like when you're constantly speaking negatively on yourself or like if you know your low self-esteem or your low you don't really have like confidence or you struggle with those things and you're always talking about like oh like I'm never gonna find a man like I'm never gonna no one's ever gonna love me like I don't know like you're putting that out there for that to be your reality like the power of the tongue oh and I'm always saying this the power of the tongue is so strong like sometimes I feel like there are certain things that I manifest that I get and it's like I didn't even necessarily like work for them as hard as I could have or like even start the process and it's like they still come to me and it's because I was already speaking about it like way before I decided like okay I'm gonna actually put in the work to get to get this thing or to to be in this place or to meet you know whoever I need to meet like simply off the fact that like I was just like I'm like yeah this is what I'm gonna do like this is what I'm gonna do or this is where I'm gonna be or uh, this is the kind of money that I'm gonna have or this is the kind of place that I want to live in or this is the business that I'm gonna own or like there are things and those are all just examples but like that's what I do like I do a lot of that with China like I feel like all we ever do is manifest but yeah I do a lot of that with Chinese we do a lot of manifestation a lot of the things that we want to manifest together and separately like we are still working on but I find comfort in knowing that like someone that I trust so much that I know supports me as much as I support them like them knowing my goals it's like she holds me accountable too or she'll just like be like yeah I remember when you first told me that you were gonna do that and look at where you're like look you're doing it now or like look at where you're at now like and it's like I don't know I find comfort in that I really like that like it makes me you know feel like I have a really good support system that someone who's like keeping tabs on me or just like keeping up with me and I do the same with her like we'll just point shit out to each other like yo like do you remember when we said to each other that like we were gonna do this or we were gonna have this or like and we'd be like oh yeah like oh shit like we definitely did say that like and now we're doing it it's like subconsciously it's not like it's on the front of my mind all the time it's in the back of my mind it's what I'm daydreaming about it's what I'm dreaming about when I'm sleeping it's what I'm thinking about when I'm not thinking about anything it's what I'm thinking about when somebody's talking about some dumb shit and I don't want to really hear it so I start daydreaming about what I really want to think about what I'm really trying to accomplish like it's like subconsciously it's doing the work that it needs to do hmm That was cute. That was real good right there. <laughs> you know, I really be doing this little um, chitter chatter thing. No, seriously, like I want to do more videos like this where I'm like talking about manifestation and talking about like goals and just I want to inspire as many people as I can to live the life that they want to live. Like at the end of the day, this is something I'm, I say to my friends all the time, like you can ask China, you can ask Mona, like, I'm always saying this, like, you need to live your life for you. You need to live your life for your own happiness. And in doing so, it will take you to the places that you want to be. It'll take you to the people that you want and need to be around. And it'll give you the lifestyle that you seek, like, truly being happy with yourself and having the things that you want to have like I feel like all comes from within so it's like you have to make decisions based off of what's best for you like not what other people are telling you to do or what you think you should do based on what other people have done or you trying to be like somebody else you need to be yourself you need to be secure with yourself and know that that is good enough <laughs> Don't do drugs. Don't smoke out. You got. Do you know that? Um, everybody knows that fucking no. Cause now I'm about to play it. The Frank Ocean song with his mom. The the voicemail that she leaves. Oh, it's be yourself. Many college students have gone to college and gotten hooked on drugs. Okay. 
she says all that right but then she says like be yourself and that's be secure with yourself like trust and lie upon your own decisions upon your own beliefs like that that's that's it right there for so long i spent so much time like trying to help other people trying to save other people trying to lighten the load for other people trying to be like physical support systems for other people and wanting like that reciprocated but then also not really like caring that it wasn't reciprocated like i was just okay with like being a giver and always like giving 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 like emotionally mentally physically like just giving myself and not getting anything in return and it was so draining and it took so much out of who i am as a person like i feel like it slowed me down it definitely did slow me down i got lost like i got lost in and who i was and i didn't I didn't really like focus on that because I was focused on the people around me. Yeah, and it was like when I switched the narrative to me thinking about how I feel, my feelings, and what would make me happy, and not caring about, not, it, it sounds messed up, not caring, but like at the end of the day, it's like everyone has the right to be selfish. You know, like we only get one life. We only get one lifetime to make mistakes to live to be happy to love to 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 experience everything and we don't know when our time is up on this planet you know like that has become very apparent this year like if anything we should have all come to the conclusion of like okay like we need to start living life and live for ourselves and the goal is to be happy so that we do feel fulfilled but like i just chose myself and I'm always going to choose myself. At the end of the day, I'm always going to choose myself. Because you should always choose yourself. This conversation was like all over the place. I said a lot. <laughs> I only ate, oh I ate most of the pizza. There's only two slices left, but I'm done. Um, going to finish my wine. <laughs> Niggas be sick when they remember all the bad they wished you. Niggas get mad when they can come and live lavish with you. Oh. It's Nikki with the bars always for me, period. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. This is like my first official mukbang by myself. I only did this once, one time before and it was with Chinese. But like this is the first time I've done it by myself. I was kind of nervous. I was like, what am I going to talk about? I don't even know what to say. But like, honestly, anytime there's food and wine involved, like I can, my mouth will run on for like, years so if you guys enjoyed today's mukbang video then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below go ahead and smash the like button down below i love you guys so much don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the fam turn on your post notifications right now because there's new videos coming every single day so you might as well subscribe like if you're like what 10 days in to vlogmas on my channel sis Hit the subscribe button, like, I see you, I see you, okay, period. It's the consistency for me. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload, which is gonna be tomorrow, period. I don't know, like, I'm doing so much right now, and it's because I'm tipsy, like, ugh. I love you guys.